We're standing here with John Lothrop, Curator of Archaeology at the New York State Museum. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very good. Uh, we're in front of a giant 20-foot canoe. Tell us a little, a, a little bit about how it's made. Well, this specimen was actually recovered in 1893 from Glass Lake in Rensselaer County, east of Albany. It was made by uh, peoples who felled a large tree and then used fire and wood, wood cutting tools to hollow out the trunk and shape the hull. With fire and axes. That's right. You would just burn a little bit, chip it away. Burn a little bit, chip it away. Exactly. And eventually you would have a hollowed out log, essentially. Exactly. We don't really know what tribe this is associated with. Is this a Native American canoe? I'm assuming it is. It could be Native American, it could be European. That's actually a great question because when Henry Hudson sailed up the river that bears his name, he was met by Native Americans in watercraft like this. As Europeans colonized North America, they knew a good thing when they saw one and they saw that this was a well-suited technology for traversing rivers and lakes of of the East, and so they very actually very quickly adopted this technology and began making their own dugout canoes. So Europeans and natives each had their own canoes. Now it's a very large structure. I know that you know wood floats in water, but how would you get this to a river? Would they drive up in their 16th century Chevy with the canoe on top, or how would this be transported? Well, they probably made it very close to the river or a lake that they were going to launch it into, and so it would not have been difficult to get it into the water. So you wouldn't take this on vacation? Well, you could, depending on where you were going. <laughs> so this is one of how many specimens that the museum owns? We have three dugout canoes at the New York State Museum. Okay, and how old is this particular specimen? Well, that's a great question, and we, re we didn't know this until this past year. We did uh, an analysis called dendrochronology. It was done by a professor at Cornell University. And dendrochronology is a method for dating wooden artifacts by comparing the tree ring growth patterns in the artifact to a regional chronology of tree growth uh, for the location where the artifact was found. And through this analysis, we know that this canoe was built about 1777. That is, that's the date when the tree was cut down to make this canoe. How many people could this hold? Uh, this canoe probably could have held maybe three individuals. Sometimes they were quite large, uh, much larger than this, and we have uh, historic accounts of canoes that held, dugout canoes that held 15 or 20 people, others much smaller and holding only a few people. This, this one could have held maybe three or four. Wow, so not a party boat. Not a party boat, but a, uh, a technology that was very well adapted by Native Americans to traversing the rivers and lakes of New York State. To learn more, visit us at the New York State Museum or online at www.nysm.nyseed.gov.